welcome back to the channel. Today we are doing a come thrift with me. However, I have been filming get readies with me all morning and this is the state of my bedroom. So that's a situation I need to sort out quickly before I go. And I also, I'm starving, so I'm gonna make myself a bagel. Oh my God, I'm literally tripping over shoes. This is, it's a whole, it's a mood, it's a vibe, right? Um, I've also got all our Christmas presents going on down here, so they need sorting at some point as well. Um, but yeah, today's video is all about thrifting my final um, products for products. What am I talking about? Oh my god, I'm in like a chaos mode right now. Um, thrifting my final Christmas presents. I have, um, yeah, I've got, I want to get a few more bits for Laura and I want to get a few bits for Pete's family as well. So, wandering over here, sorry. Doing my bagel while I'm talking to you. I think as well, I'm gonna have a really cheeky lunch. I'm gonna have baked beans and pork sausages on, uh, I think we hope we've got some bread, on some bread for lunch, I think. So, um, that'd be delicious. Should I do this with, I think I'm gonna do this with a banana and some peanut butter to get the, get the, Fruit and veg in, eh? Fruit and what what comes from nuts? Protein? I don't know, I don't know what the good good thing from nuts is. Um yeah, so I've got some final Christmas presents to buy, so I'm just gonna head down to my high street and see what they've got. I also want to pick up the Mooming crackers. Crackers? Yeah. Um from Oxfam if they've still got them. Um if not, I need to go and buy some because I said I would provide crackers on Christmas Day. So I want to pick those up and any other little festive bits, and then yeah, some bits for Pete's family as well, because I'm gonna do them a whole like bad Santa moment to uh unwrap on christmas day which i think will just be hilarious um uh boxing day i'm with them on boxing day so i'll take that around as like a game on boxing day because i think it'll be fun i've got like some troll gifts in there as well which are like literal trolls like the troll dolls which i think is gonna be so funny um i love that i think i think my own ideas are hilarious i've actually got a secret santa with pete's friends this weekend as well and I think my gift is so good I got one of the, the guy I got I got him um like a wooden spoon where I've got his face engraved on it and I've got my body as a temple engraved on the handle it is so funny in my opinion but I don't know if it's gonna arrive on time because the royal mail strikes and I in the utmost support striking um as inconvenient as is that's the the whole point of it so people get fairer wages and better working conditions and that is fundamentally important um so I, I support the strike, it's just sad that my present's not gonna arrive on time and I ordered it at the end of November as well. So it's not like I'm a, I'm a delay on it, but we've just decided that I'm gonna give it to him for his birthday if, and go and get him something funny on, on Saturday if it doesn't arrive. But I'm, I'm holding out till Saturday for that to arrive. Um, but yeah, let's make myself some breakfast, let's hide in my bedroom. It's not, it's the second bedroom actually. It's, um, put the camera on charge. Right, a whole bunch of stitch do. So the room is tidy, some breakfast has been eaten, a box of stuff to go on vintage has been prepared, and we're gonna go. Um, I'm wearing literally the funniest little outfit. I've got like uh, beige joggers, like, I don't know, like lounge pants, my acne sweatshirt, and I'm gonna put my Uggs on with it because there's a lack of outfit care today. I just wanna be comfy cozy and warm. Mainly it's bloody freezing in London at the moment, so yeah. Ugg boots it is and yeah need to grab a bag to take down with me and I've got a few bits like toothpaste and coffee and boring stuff I need to buy as well so got some gonna get a bag charge shop on his own So there's not much to report home from that one. It just looks like somebody with a big foot. <laughs> Actually, I've got a size like three to four feet. So bigger than me, they were size 40. I don't really know what that is. Um, so seven maybe? Anyway, had donated a pair of beautiful, beautiful pair of Jimmy Choo's in the window. I assume it's the same person because they were the same size and both like similar sort of designer. But the Dior shoes were so beautiful. And they were 60 quid, which is actually a pretty good price, really. Um, if they were in my size, they would have like one trillion percent been coming home with me, but alas, 
not even squishable. So, on to next. One more charity shop left and I, I found a few things that I like I think there's a necklace in Oxfam I want to go and get back go back and get for Laura and probably gonna go back and she had to think about how many people were coming to Christmas since I want to go back and probably going back and get some crackers in there as well but I might pop to waitress and see what they've got in terms of crackers and then there was the most amazing like strawberry raspberry I'm sure I showed it serving bowl that we don't have that sort of thing like a lot of that sort of thing at home and it was really nice and now I am regretting not buying it. it was only £5.50 I have got one little like thing for the kitchen as well but I'm regretting it um, and then I'm quite interested in that Ganny dress I saw as well um, because I have put a thing on my Instagram because I wasn't sure if it was real or not and people are saying it's real so yeah right so last charity shop Lidl Waitrose and then back to the, the charity shop if I'm feeling that I'm gonna get the necklace for Laura and then think about the other bits So I'm just preparing, not very healthy lunch, but a delicious lunch. I've got my piece of bread, then I've got my sausages and baked beans, and I'm going to put some cheese on it. So, yeah. Thinking, do I just take this to work as my work lunch tomorrow as well? Like, just take a can and stick it in the microwave? I'm tempted, you know? I'm quite tempted to do that. Um, but then also I have been eating, like, oh, oops. I've been eating really healthy at the moment, so like I've been having um, my breakfast bagels with the peanut butter and banana, and then I've been doing. This isn't unhealthy though, is it? Like it's just not that beans everywhere, not that nutritious. More than like actually unhealthy. Um, I don't know if you're a nutritionist or someone that knows more about me than that, more about that than me, um, then let me know. Um, but yeah, I've been eating like salads and soups and stuff for lunch. I think also because it's like, the soups are like really nice and cozy, like they're a nice cozy thing to eat um, for lunch. Oh, I also have some really exciting news. Um, fingers crossed anyway, I'm trying not to get my hopes up, but we are going to visit a cat, a kitten actually. Well, no, she's eight, he's eight months old, Rue. I don't know if we're gonna change his name, but on Monday, we're gonna go visit him. Um, with the possibility of maybe adopting. I'm just honestly so excited. Um, there will, of course, be lots of cat content if I do end up getting a cat because, like, I am gonna, like, you know, though, where it's like dual income millennial parents get a pet, uh, get parents, get a couple, um, get a pet and they, like, spoil the hell out of it. I know me and Pete are both gonna be like that. We're gonna spoil the shit out of this little baby. So, yeah. But I also so I was saying I was going to get a little Christmas outfit and Pete's dad told me that was animal abuse. So I won't be doing that because I listened to him. Um, 
but maybe he can get a little, I was thinking a little harness because he's an indoor cat at the moment, a little harness and we could take him out and explore the great outdoors together. I'm gonna go eat my, br my brunch and my lunch. <laughs> Hi guys, I want to show you what I picked up in the shops before all the light goes and I am going to go to Hammersmith, what is this, what is this stance, Hammersmith charity shops on uh, Friday because I'm determined to find those moving crackers and they weren't in my Oxfam so I'm going to yeah take myself to Hammersmith charity shops on Friday and try and find those so I'll take you along with me to that, with me to that, I'll take you along to that with me as well um but i'll show you what i picked up um oh that's heat god levi's package so i need to put that in his room in in our room <laughs> we don't have separate rooms i need to stop doing that because you guys are going to think that like oh, not that it really matters but anyway um so i we i always did a bit of food shop i got some bits from i got two types of coffee instant and cafetiere coffee um i don't know what i'm unboxing this in here i got some toothpaste and I got some of the pizza, like bits of heat for lunch and then I also got to put in the bad Santa I'm doing this like Baileys and a candle from Lidl which is so nice like that would be a gift I would steal if I was it getting to play bad Santa um then I picked up, so Laura, if you're watching this, my sister, uh, or <laughs> not just if you're called Laura, Laura, my sister, if you're watching this, you need to, uh, I don't know, like skip like two minutes in advance or something. So I'm not going to talk about it for two minutes. Oh no, this is the wrong one. Hold on, let me get the one I'm telling you to skip two minutes in advance because you're not allowed to see. She did wrap it up nicely for me, but this is um, my sister's, one of my sister's Christmas presents. So skip, Laura, if you're still here. Um, her, I got her this beautiful, beautiful vase and it's going to match her living room colours so perfectly and I think they've got one, her and Andy have got like a, a bigger version like this as well and this was, I think it was £9, yeah, ten, ten pounds but it's so beautiful I almost want to keep it for myself and it, like all beautifully like watercolour painted, let's see if I can get like a better Oh, it's so gorgeous. I love it. And how pretty would that look with some, like, in the spring with, like, tulips in? Mm, I'm obsessed with it. So, yeah, that's uh, Laura's final present, actually. I don't think I need to get anything else. We said we'd have small budgets this year, but my presents are from both me and Pete, so, yeah. And then, I need to give this a wash. But me and Pete currently have all our utensils, like, in a Starbucks um, cup, and they don't fit very well. So I got this really cool, like, terracotta pot, which I guess someone's painted the words utensils on it, which I just think is so cute and so fun. It needs a good a good wash. So I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to pop it into my, my kitchen with all the utensils in. And there's plenty of room for us to put, like, more utensils than we've got in there as well. So I just think that's so cute, and it really really matches our kitchen as well um i love like quirky little bits like that for the house um i'm a big fan of my like charity shop bits and bobs like a lot of our glasses on our bar cart charity shop and stuff like that and then i picked up this jacket i do not need another jacket but i just couldn't resist i think i showed you it in the um i tried it on it was 13 pounds and it's somerset by alice Templey, which is alice Templey's range with john lewis and it's just this really, like, it's so smart. Like, it's a much smarter coat than I've ever, than any others I've got. But how nice is that? It's just so nice, so flattering. The buttons on it are this, like, gorgeous, like, I don't know, like, crest. Like, very, like, you know, is this, if this was, like, really tight, it'd be, oh, come on, focus back. Uh, 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 da, 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 da. No, not going to focus. Oh my god, I just talked to the camera for like two minutes and it wasn't even recording. So I essentially just talked to myself for two minutes. But now I look crazy in this like snowman coat. <laughs> I got this, this arrived today from Vinted. Um, she charged me £10 for it. It's a top shop like Borg, white Borg jacket. I think it's probably coming across very bright. Ah, oh, there we go. It's toned down a bit. It is so cool. And like the inside is like, I think it's like faux suede. Um, and yeah, Borg on the outside. I am... Um, 
this will definitely have, I've got like the perfect outfit I want to style this up with. So um, it will definitely be on my Instagram by the time this video goes out. So go check that out um, if you want to see it styled, how I think I'm going to style it. I think I'm going to wear my Aritzia jumpsuit with like my little Zara, like vintage Zara shrug. And then this over and like a big pink scarf and my Ugg boots. How friggin' cute would that outfit be? So yeah. I don't need any more coats, but it appears I've got some. So, you know what, you win some. And to be honest, I think 10 quid for that ball coat, I've definitely won some. And then I picked up a few other things uh, from Tiger, which is probably my favorite shop in the whole world for my uh, bad Santa. I picked up this Christmas mug. Um, again, not a bad gift, pretty good gift, I'd say. I then, this is so hilarious. This is a little, I hope you can see that. It's a little dog doing a yoga pose and it's a ring holder. But it's just hilarious. So I picked that up. Um, I then picked up some uh, napkins because I always like to have napkins in. And I thought these were so cute and like defo, like big Scandi vibes going on there. Um, and I then picked up these little pens with um, crystals on as part of the Secret Santa as well. Um, and then I got this for Pete's desk in our bedroom. It says, do not, oh, please... Do, please do disturb. I thought it said, please don't disturb. But that's actually quite funny. Um, I'm thinking he could put that up if he's in, well, I thought he said, please don't disturb. And I think he could put it on there if he's available for disturbing or not. I thought it'd just be, it's just like a joke gift. He's probably not gonna use it. I just thought it would be funny on his desk. Cause whenever I come in and I like ask him something, if he's like mid whatever the fuck he's doing in his, his gaming, he's like, in another world and I just thought that would be quite funny if he could put it there and um, have it on his desk just as a bit of a, a joke. And then I got these two frames because they were a pound each and I printed off a whole bunch of pictures off that free printing website, like I think it's literally called free prints. So I want to frame a few of them because there's some like really gorgeous pictures. Um, and yeah, next time you see me we'll be going to Hammersmith to find mooming crackers. Fingers crossed. Hi guys, so it is Thursday. I've decided not to go to Hammersmith because um, I found some really cute crackers online and I'm gonna get those instead. God, is this really bright? I'm mean, eating a Percy pig. Sorry about that. That's better, isn't it? Should I finish eating before I'm filming? Mm. So, yeah, I'm not gonna go to Hammersmith. I'm thinking I'm probably just gonna end the vlog here then. It wasn't the most amazingly successful charity shop wise but i did get a lot of the things i wanted to get which is good and finished off christmas shopping and that sort of thing so yeah i am um, obviously now is this gonna be going live on great after christmas or christmas i think this is gonna go live on boxing day now i'm gonna have to put it live early aren't i um stop eating <laughs> i really hope you enjoyed the video guys and i'll catch you next monday at six bye